This is Hali Lisha, interventional cardiologist, coming to you with an interventional tip on how to deal with tortuosity, which is one of the most difficult things in our practice, especially when it's combined with calcium. Uh, a lot of people think paradoxically that very supportive wires like Grand Slam or Iron Man may make things easier, and they could in non-tortuous segments. But sometimes in tortuous segments, not only they cause pseudo lesions and ischemia during our work, but they can work against us. I found in clinical practice that combining two wires, one uh, medium support wire along with a workhorse wire, works uh, pretty effectively with the more supportive wire pushing the tortuous vessel away from uh, the uh, uh, workhorse wire in order to allow for advancement of equipment. So uh, we kind of uh, use the wire bias in our favor in order to advance equipment, like uh, what you see in the figure up there. This is an actual case of a very severely diseased distal circumflex after a couple of tortuous segments. In this case, a uh, scion blue was used to uh, get the um, uh, the wire bias uh, to work for us and then a run through was used in parallel to deliver the stent as you see in this um, uh, film. Uh, and one other trick is to actually keep the uh, body wire trapped under the stent and uh, until you deliver the non-compliant balloon which will help you as an anchor and will work even better than a guide extension in a safe fashion. And when you work on removing the body wire, obviously make sure the guide catheter is pulled out of the aorta to minimize the risk of uh, guide-related dissection. And when you shoot your last picture, just keep your wire in the stent for reading.